before this video begins, a very epic announcement. That's right, everybody. Origin PC! Sponsor! Sponsor! Everyone, say it with me, loud and clear. Origin PC Neuron. Origin PC Neuron Desktop. It's a computer that I have. Look how that glows in the dark. Look at this. Look at this baby! This is the computer I have. But they have announced Neuron RTS, which of course stands for really tight snobble. No, that was a joke. It's called real-time shipping. That's like the, as cool as real-time shipping sounds. It's ready to ship. Real-time shipping would be cool though. <laughs> they sell for only 1,499. But there's limited inventory, so you gotta act fast. Okay? The Neuron RTS has an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 GPU and a 6-core professor. That means you can perfectly game, perfectly stream, perfectly watch memes and pretend that you have no any idea what any of this means. <laughs> I mean, I can't even pretend, clearly. <laughs> this baby can handle all the newest games. What are you, some sort of loser that don't play games on ultra graphics? Ha! <laughs> Pathetic! It supports the latest graphics technology, okay? Real-time ray tracing for lifelike lighting in such games like Metro Exodus and DLSS with improved performance and FPS. I know what FPS means, okay guys? But wait, that's not it! You also have free games included. And thanks to this little baby, you can easily upgrade it to in the future as well. It's very easily upgradable. You will also get lifetime tech support. In the US, available 24-7, 365 days a year, baby. You need help with your computer on Christmas, we got you, baby. But that's not it. We're also giving one away. That's right, you guys get bread as well. Check out the link in the description for giveaway away info. That's it for me for now. Enjoy the video. Smack like and subscribe and epic. Oh! When I think of one man that is truly holy and holds a special place in my heart, I think of Neil Breen and no one else. Sorry, Marzia, but Neil Breen takes my heart. Now, who is Neil Breen, you ask? Well... Hi, thanks for checking out my crowdfunding site. My name is Neil Breen. I'm a filmmaker. Uh, I'm in the process of producing my fourth legitimate feature film. <laughs> Neil Breen is a legitimate filmmaker. And I made videos on his previous work in the past, which is nothing short of Oscar worthy, performance wise, director wise, everything wise. Look How at this scene. How could you have done this? Jim! I, I can't, I can't believe, believe you committed, you committed suicide. suicide. I cannot, I cannot believe, you believe, believe you committed suicide. How could How you could have, you done, have this? done this? How could you have committed suicide? Ow! Oh. I can't help you out of this one, Jim. With all we've been through, I can't pull you out of this one. Can't pull you out of this one. What can I say? <laughs> Neil is the best. I love this background that he chose. It says so much. <laughs> and so little at the same time. Which is actually a great way to describe his film. Now, a couple uh, a couple days ago, me and some friends in Brighton, we watched another one of his films, one of his older work called Double Down. Now, why don't we double down together and go through this masterpiece? Uh, uh. <laughs> Neil Breen's psychological thriller, Double Down, it's a masterpiece. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little it's a little hard to sit through. <laughs> there are some moments I'm questioning why I watch this film, but there are those golden moments, and that's what we're gonna focus on today. So the film starts off with this lovely footage of clouds, and you think, wow, this actually looks pretty great. I like the music, it's made by Neil Breen. We don't know what Neil Breen has done, but we know that he is involved in this film. There's <laughs> Now, I know what you're asking yourself, will there be another Neil Breen text on the screen? Please, I need to see more Neil Breen text on the screen. Don't worry, it is coming. You just gotta be patient. Because this video 
<laughs> because this film has to be an hour 30 minutes so that it can be cli- We are produced, written, and directed by Neil Breen! Incredible. I actually like this shot. I don't- I can't complain too much. It goes through the- Look at that. Beautiful. There he is! Look at those sideburns! My name is Aaron Brand. Aaron! I always thought I was doing the right thing and preparing for life. I was the first in my class in college in computers. Okay, all you need to know about this character, literally, you don't need to know anything besides that he's a hacker, he's a genius, I don't know, he's just a lot of things, okay? Perhaps most importantly, he enjoys eating tuna out of cans. I don't need much to live on anymore. I just eat tuna out of the can and live in the car. You know, for being a genius, he's really bad at eating tuna while driving. <laughs> oh, Neil! Oof, that was close. That was real close. This is why you never eat tuna out of a can while driving. Please let this be a learning lesson for all of you out there. Now, mercenary. For any nation. There's gonna be a lot of shots. Another. I'm not gonna lie, there's gonna be a lot of shots of Neil Breen running through rocks. And if that's not your cup of tea, then, then you're just a hater. And this movie isn't for you. So you can just back away, okay? You can just get away from here. We ain't got time for this. I wanna watch Neil Breen's movie. Look seven. at that. And Look at that climbing. Forever. Absolutely Love incredible. We're getting married. You know, as a passionate fan of Neil Breen's work, there is a cur there are a couple of current themes. One of them being an excessive use of laptops. Neil Breen loves to use laptops. Why use one laptop when you can use two laptops? And why use it. one phone when you can use forever. two phones simultaneously? <laughs> no one abuses laptops like Neil Breen. <sighs> Don't know, Neil! Neil! Don't do it, Neil. Don't do it. God damn it, Neil. No book. That first book made Don't a hit that for you. book with the God damn it. I can't wait any longer. I don't care how angry you are. Don't God damn it. You don't don't not I'm again. Not ready for this. Oh my god. Not a no. Someone stop this man. I know, you're upset. It has a deeper meaning. I'm just really glad the laptop has made a, an appearance here as well. Satellite dishes, five laptops, six cell phones. He's got five laptops, six cell phones. There are very dangerous wars going on that will never end. He's talking about T-Series versus PewDiePie. That's right, I snook that one in there. <laughs> so Neil Breen is basically like an undercover agent type of... It's really hard to explain. Neil Breen character is like a super rogue agent, secret war, underground, desert dwelling character. I disappear. He can disappear. I become. And he also has a force field. Which is pretty cool. The force cool. shield will cause force death. Force shield, sorry. If an intruder... The force shield will cause death if an intruder draws near. Just letting you guys know that that's a thing that Neil Breen has. Is this important for the plot and story? No, it isn't. But that is not necessary in Neil Breen's films, okay? You just don't understand. Three laptops at the same time. I support our troops. How many laptops do you use at the same time, huh? One, <laughs> two... Three. But there's no way for is them there, to win a Wait, is there way. four? There is it's four! The there is four laptops! I didn't see the fourth one. My, my Sorry guys, I gotta rewrite this review. So now we have more shots of Neil Breen running around in the deserts. An excellent climber and ed excellent athleticism. But he's about to find something in these rocks. Now place your bets in the comments, please. What do you think Neil Breen is gonna find in the rocks? The winner gets uh gets to smash like on this video what is he finding another laptop everyone <laughs> the fifth laptop makes his appearance <laughs> uh. yep that's a laptop yep confirmed it is in fact a laptop we met when we were seven and it was love at first sight we loved each other since. Because you have matching pants? Is that why, Neil? 
There he is again with the laptops. Now, to be clear here, we are 17 minutes into the film and we haven't seen or heard any dialogue whatsoever. It's just been nothing but this and Neil Breen talking over the footage. There is an error in the calculation. Okay, all right. But let's go to the best bit, in my opinion, of the entire film. It starts off with footage of a very public pool, as you can see here. <laughs> then cut to Neil Breen being naked in this pool with naked lady. I love being with you. I love you. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, I will marry. Oh. oh I am so happy. Oh. You can tell she really feels strongly about this clip. Now I definitely want to be in this shot, okay? I definitely want to show myself as much as possible in this. I'm so happy. Oh. I can't wait to be your wife. Ah! Neil Breen! Neil Breen, that's a laser! We'll always be together. I need to know that... Watch out, Neil Breen! How did she not see the laser? It is possible. It is possible. Anything's possible. <gasps> Thank you! What? Jeez. Jeez. Ah! Is it me, or is it hot in here? God damn, that was sexy. Ah! Ah! I cannot recreate that fantastic sound. Only one man. Oh, jeez. That is the shriek of pure agony. Ah! <laughs> ah. Now, if we thought this whole scenario was obscure enough, it gets we it gets it gets weirder. Okay, sure. Oh. Not the flower. Okay, cut to her. Then, wait for it. Yes! Thank you very much, Neil Breen, for that immaculate shot. Beautiful. Fantastic. Art. And he's gone! <laughs> what the? Oh, okay, there he is. I find myself waking up on the ground. <laughs> Now, PG pointed out this when we watched it, and it's like, we see him waking up from the ground. We don't need, I'm sorry, Neil. I don't think we need him pointing out that he's waking up from the ground. As much as I love the soothing sound of Neil Breen's buttery voice, just, just a thought. Now, the whole plot of the film kind of sounds like Neil Breen's personal thoughts. I don't know how to explain it, but showing this. I'm always amazed at how governments all over the world are so concerned about nuclear missiles and nuclear bombs and all the very expensive and secret technology involved. The reality is that chemical and biological weapons can be much more destructive to societies and economies than nuclear weapons. All right, Alex Jones. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, he's laying on the ground again. Now, wait, what just happened? Did he wake up or did he find himself waking up on the ground? Is that what happened? Neil, you're not explaining what's going on. Just gotta check if PewDiePie is still winning over T-Series. Okay, they're fine. <laughs> I've received your directions. Now, introducing the greatest character of all time. Neil Breen is walking through the desert in the middle of nowhere and he stumbles upon none other than Desert Santa. 
Desert Santa, everyone. He sits in the desert. I don't know what Desert Santa does. Now, unfortunately, don't get too attached to Desert Santa. I know it's, I love him dearly as well, but Desert Santa. De <laughs> Old man. You don't look like a terrorist to me. Then don't point your gun at him, Neil Breen. It's Desert Santa. <laughs> like, maybe stumble there as well. Where does he go in? That's some fine climbing, Neil. What is Desert Santa gonna do? Follow him? There's no way Desert Santa can follow him. That was way too tricky of a path. No one could ever do that. No one has the parkour skills to follow Neil Breen in the desert. Neil Breen knows this, of course. <laughs> no! No! It was a trap. God damn it! God damn it! He shouldn't have tried to follow Neil Breen. The path was too tricky. He got outplayed, Desert Santa. Outplayed, son. I was drawn to him. Oh. I felt I knew his spirit. Now, this is actually a love story between Neil and Desert Santa, which is quite tear breaking. The blood is gone from his head, but he's still dying. What are you saying, Desert Santa? Lend me your wisdom. <gasps> he gave him. What did he give him? The I Desert Santa Stone. That's a nice shot. And that's a nice bear. You just just put some rock over him. He'll be fine. <laughs> I guess. He's alive. He's just uh, sleeping in his rock bed. Then we have Neil um, visiting his parents, I guess. I don't... I don't know what's happening here. Mom. Is there life after death? I like this, I like this shot. It's kind of aesthetic. Dad? <laughs> Is there a heaven? It's like a good wallpaper, isn't it? <laughs> I've gotta know. I've gotta know. We are filled with love, and we are at peace. Well, that's nice. So apparently, even if you're dead, you can still not properly walk in. It still hurts to walk on gravel and stone. How about that? <laughs> that just looks painful. <laughs> All that we do is drive around and get caught up in spectacular car chases and huge buildings blowing up and wild gunfire and so on that only happens in the movies and in tv it really doesn't happen in real life in real life everything we do is done very silently undercover and electronically the public never knows what we're doing it's all done in very very secret ways can i have some water please grandma can, can i, I have it? some water please yeah. okay Yes. Speaking of secrets, there is one we want to share with you. Our daughter Megan was just diagnosed with brain cancer. No! Oh, no, I'm so oh, sorry. Oh, that sucks. What a lovely meal. Looks delicious. She's got brain cancer, so he's putting his hand on her brain. Now back to more footage of Neil Breen climbing. My favorite footage. I could watch this my entire life. Look at that. Look at those moves. Grab the rock. Oh, no. No, I grab it anyway. That helped That helped him a lot. Oh, no, it didn't. You grab another rock, Neil. Oof, he got the rock. Fantastic. Is he gonna make it up? He made it up. No one else can do that. It's me. Give me the president. Oh, God. Contact has been made. Oh, what in the... What is happening at this point? I don't really know what happens in the middle of the film. It's one big blur, to be honest. And uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna skip. Let's move away from the cars. They may be wired. Watch this. Extremely smooth. Oh, sorry. That's okay. No damage. 
There's a bug device on the car now. How are you? I don't really know what's going on to be honest. I don't I like the bit where nothing happened and it didn't make any sense This is the Metal Gear Solid plot. What does that even mean? So Neil Breen drugs this couple kills the guy and when the lady wakes up This is what he has to say Las Vegas. Hey, last night we went to the club, danced a lot, drank a lot, laughed a lot, had sex out by the fountains. <laughs> then we went down to the strip and we got married. <laughs> hey, this is Las Vegas, baby. <laughs> Imagine, you wake up, you don't know where you are. Neil Breen shows up and says, last night we drank a lot, we had sex by the fountains, we laughed a lot, and then we went down to the strip and got married. Hey, Las Vegas, baby. What do you do? What would you do if this happened to you? What? Who are you? We're married? Then, literally, 10 seconds later. Get out. Get out. The marriage is over. The marriage is over. <laughs> <laughs> the marriage is over. This girl had a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to marry Neil Breen, and it only lasted five seconds. Gosh damn it, ten seconds. Well, at least you experienced those ten seconds of pure joy and bliss and love. I'm pretty sure Neil isn't supposed to knee that skull. <laughs> but uh, I like the touch anyway. Hey look, it's more Neil running in the desert, Jess! Look at him go. Look at him go. Oh, excuse me. Contact. <laughs> literally, this is literally me when I accidentally bump into someone. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Contact. <laughs> so relatable. I think that's why I like his films. They're just relatable. Another reoccurring theme in Neil's films, the Ferraris. That's right, is that the same? No. It's the same Ferrari! I can't help you out of this one, Jim. He just took Jim's Ferrari? He loved that car. I don't know if there's any point of me explaining what's going on. I think it's better to just appreciate these, these golden moments, Great, like Ferrari. this one, for example. Holy shit, it's him! <laughs> yeah. It's him. How can that be? How can that be? That's impossible. It's impossible. It can't be. It cannot be. It's impossible. No. That can't be. I it cured her. I always wonder what happened to all the tuna cans. Does he recycle them or does he just have a cardboard box in his trunk where he keeps all the tuna cans? And I'm just really glad that we finally have the answer. What happens to all the tuna cans? Neil Breen leaves no questions unanswered. Now, of course, in the end, we get to see one of the best Neil Breen running. And screaming. <laughs> Go, Neil. Run like the wind. L run like you never run before. Uh... How long is this... How long is this gonna keep... Okay. So the movie ends with uh, Neil Breen walking away with, uh, nothing. Uh, or his girl. Or nothing. I don't know, but the most important part of the end is actually the credits. Because we have directed by Neil Breen, musical director Neil Breen, editor Neil Breen, production designer Neil Breen, production manager Neil Breen, casting Neil Breen, and most importantly, lighting! None! <laughs> Makeup and hair! None! <laughs> <laughs> Locations Neil Breen, catering Neil Breen, Aaron Brand Neil Breen.
I always wondered who does the lighting in this video. It's impeccable. Who is this nun and how do they do it so greatly? So that was Double Down everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna leave a link and you can support Neil Breen and buy his films in the description and check them out yourself because they are really something to admire and appreciate. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, smash like, let me know if you like this type of stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!